so now we are going to solve this problem in this problem you can see a beam is hosted by two forces FA and FB where if A and FB are at an angle of 30 degrees and at an angle of theta for this theta a statement is given that FB should be minimum and FA should act in 30 degrees from y axis another thing that is given which is considered to be the resultant of the force is considered to be 600 and it is directed along the y-axis so let's draw the free body diagram first for if, if A this is directed in this direction and if B is directed in this direction for both the angles are given this angle is considered to be 30 degrees and this angle is considered to be the theta whereas uh, regarding the resultant we can consider that is along this y axis you can consider now this is f of r ok it's 600 newton this is f of a and this is f of b we don't know about the magnitudes of this f of a and f of b we have to determine but regarding the f of b the hint is given here that f of b should be the minimum ok so now let's let's uh, say that this is the f of r ok and f of a and f of b be the rectangle components of f of r ok by the principle of resolution we can say that and that both f of a and f of b will be the rectangular components of f of r so if they are rectangle rectangular that means these both will be at an angle of 90 degrees this angle can be said that this will be the 90 degrees if this both are rectangular components of f of r so we can say that this is 90 degrees so this is 90 degrees now we can find the theta theta will be equals to 90 degrees minus 30 degrees so it will be 60 degrees now this at the angle of 60 degrees with y axis FB will be the minimum or the magnitude of FB will be minimum and another approach is that let's consider let's consider let's let's I'm considering that this is x dash axis actually I'm doing what I am just considering the f of a is along x dash axis and f of y is along the y dash axis ok so if we are going to rewrite the same thing here this will be our x y axis and this will be our x axis and now we can draw we can say that f of a is acting along at this axis because this is x dash axis and this is y dash axis this is f of b as you can see both are the components of a resultant that resultant is f of r and it is given this is 600 newton this is actually basically the actual y axis this is actual y axis and here I can draw that this line is going to represent actual x axis ok so the angle of this resultant with x dash axis will become 
this will become 30 degrees now I can see that this f of a and f of b are both rectangle components of this f of r now we can simply find their magnitude by using our basic formulas which are for f of a we can say for f of a we can say this is 600 and cos of 30 degrees for f of b for f of b we can say 600 and this will be sine 30 degrees okay so if we are going to evaluate the value let me find the values 600 600 cos of 30 it will be equals to 519.62 and for f of b for f of b the value will be equals to 300 newton and this is also newton so these are the both results for our the problem.